Up north. Oh, yeah. Canada. May, you know, doing some damage. Uh, for those of you at home that don't know, Roy has been kind of that character that's been on the outskirts. Some people have said he's really good. Some say he's not super good, but he's all right. And yeah, Tweak went and won a national. <laughs> With Roy against Mars. Right. I mean, but oh, like, oh, no, that's no. the worst start that Nitro could ever have. Uh, he did not, like, hit the ignition key, and he's not burning anything. He didn't even, he didn't even press the clutch, right? Yeah. He's like, hold on, man. I thought I thought you just said I thought you said it was a stick. I thought you said it was manual. <laughs> well, well, that's the thing for him, right? Like he went automatically for the up B. But yeah. if you want to go more manual, you go for the up air. You have a little bit more range mm -hmm. as a tether to actually recover from that low. Really good pressure there on the shield. Immediately to get Rose deep out of there. Yeah, this is not look fun. He's just ledge trapping them, getting hit by everything. This Especially hurts. with Roy's recovery, <laughs> you know. Yeah. The, the fire sword, blazes, you know. <laughs> it's it's goes to the ledge, but it's right there where that axe likes to come running through. Then you got mixing holy water, and it's just not. It's, it's kind of like an ingredient. Oh, but he's edge guarding him. Oh my god, just carrying Bagel? him off stage. Oh no! And he killed him. What he, is happening? He went too low. That's the problem. Is that you only get that forty-five degree recovery if you're at a certain height. At one point, you will be too low to actually reach that. It's like that that uh, that little nursery rhyme with like roast beef and the piggy that went we we all the way home. He took him all the way home to the blast zone. <laughs> Oh, that's poor. Oh, he died. Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. See left and right. The, the, the worst. <laughs> the worst part is like his whole family's in the background. <laughs> like, yo, man, let's go. And then he just asks. He's like, yeah, nah. oh man. <laughs> man. Speaking of going home to the blast zone, you know, especially the family in the back. He's. Uh, it, always, it always happens, man. The, you're the best out of your friends. They cheer for you, and then you just SD, and you lose like some guy. Like, who is this guy? And you turn turn on his PR. This is definitely not the uh, the smash the smash match that we were expecting. We're thinking a little more calm and collected than it's been so far, but it's been just a scrap. This nice. is, oh my god, all the projectiles! Here we go. The reason why you go for axe at that point is because the way that holy water is going to work is going to send you up enough yeah. for axe to hit, and a lot of people tend to panic and jump out of holy water. And yeah, the they don't want the forward smash. Exactly, man. they don't want the forward smash. So at that point, you're kind of covering all the options for your opponent. To go. At that point, I always tell people your best option is just to stay there, hold shield. If you have a healthy shield, which you do at that point from the ledge, you will be more than fine, and then go ahead and pursue. I feel like if I just held shield in that situation, I'm going to die at a forward smash. I'm not yeah. going to lie to you. <laughs> you can parry. You can parry. Your shield Your shield health is usually fine around, uh -huh. that, around that time, like I said. You can parry, but that's why I tell people, like, parrying is kind of the wave now. That's why they, like, nerfed how shields are a little bit in terms of strength and projectiles in general. They they really do an emphasis on putting parries like, yeah. on the next level. And here we go, opening up game two. Let's see if it goes a little bit better for both the players. Oh, yeah. You, you know, especially in these tournaments, you want both these players to relax, if you will, and Do play, well. play their best game. Yeah. And I think both players would agree that they did not play their best matches the last game. All right, pressure here. I like it. At this point, Rose Beef kind of has to respect each time that he sees Nitro, kind of back off and deal a little right. bit of pressure. Because you can't just approach. At that point, you're going to give Nitro a little bit of a whip on Yeah, if, it, if they pull a Lux and just run into all the projectiles, then you end up off stage like this situation. No, no man, they pull Lux. Oh, and, there's oh. a forward smash. Oh, my God. That's this the character. problem. You, you get up like that. He could have jumped get up. That was the Lux. You run into a projectile and get forward smash. No, <laughs> I, I thought the Lux is you believe in Ices, and then they go like, oh, man. How, do you, how many projectiles do you think I ran into and they got forward smash for it? Let me tell you a lot. Oh, my God. He's throwing holy water. It's covering the ledge. Yep. And he's forward smashing, and this is not going well for let, Rose Beef. He's I feel like cooked. he let go of the ledge, and then he panicked. That's what ended up happening. And he's playing. He's going off. He's feeling comfortable. That's what you know. And he's feeling himself. Richter is going off stage. The edge guard. He's trying to get oh. him a little revenge from the last game. He almost got the forward air too. That's what kind of set himself there. Axe. Here's a setup. Wait for it. Down air. Great parry here. Yeah, Kneeling good parry to get the advantage, but didn't get any punishment out of it really. That's unfortunate. Maybe just a, a trade of that down air, right? Mm -hmm. Just bounce it off and go too far away. Ooh. There you go, it's got him edge guarded, and he had a little bit of an advantage state, wasn't able to capitalize on it. It's right back to the hell from where he came, and there's the forward smash. Takes that stock, and Nitro, true to his name, is just burning through. Yeah, man, at this point, he's going to be punished right out there. It's like, he's got the NOS going right now. He's <laughs> running away with this match, unfortunately. That's the hard part. Sometimes people just get this mental block against characters with projectiles. That's why you see a lot of the, the salt on the internet. You know, oh, that, might, that guy just camped me, you know. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of something that exists across the entire community. It's difficult to deal with. 
It's also your ability to understand like how you can approach. Like you have great movement with Roy, so you can definitely use that movement and move, move it in and out. We did see Will's people a little bit come in, run up with shield. Yeah. Like, solid option for him to actually work it out. And I was looking solid. He's not even just going to the projectile walls. I saw a little scrap right there. You get a down air oh, to uh, yeah. an up special, just running through all kinds of different combo options. Put in some work in, getting some lab time in with a, with a real life opponent. Yeah. The best play you can get is offline, usually in person. He's got the, he's throwing the projectiles out. He's got the axe, and here's a force smash, oh, broke the shield. I Here we go, forward smash. And it takes the over. stop. Yeah. At that point, like, he ran in and approached the shield and kind of did that a little bit over zealously. Like, I mentioned how good it is at the ledge because you can get hit back, sent off, right, at that point. But in the middle of the stage, when your opponent has you conditioned in that sense, like, it's not your best option. That's kind of like the last thing you want to be careful for is you only want to focus on a parry yeah. or moving in and out and using Roy's ability to just dash well and have one of the best run speeds in the game, too, as well. Yeah, but Vance, I thought projectiles are supposed to lose the shields, man. What 